Henry B. Walthall, a well-known actor from classic movies, had a significant impact on the film industry. While he's famous for many great works, it's tough to pinpoint one standout moment in his career. There are interesting facts and stories about him that you might not know, giving you a glimpse into his life behind the scenes. We'd love to hear your memories or experiences with this actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for more facts about him, some funny, some surprising, and some sad. Share your stories and memories with us. Born in Shelby Depot, Alabama, on March 16, 1878, Henry B. Walthall came from humble beginnings shaped by the post-Civil War era in the American South. Growing up facing economic challenges, he developed resilience early on. Raised in a close-knit household, his family bonds laid the foundation for his future. Inspired by local performers, he developed a keen interest in entertainment. A turning point came when he saw a traveling theater troupe sparking his passion for acting. Despite financial constraints, he pursued his dream with unwavering family support. In the late 19th century, Walthall moved to New York City, the hub of the growing film industry. Navigating challenges, he showcased dedication and talent, finding success in the silent film era. Collaborating with director D.W. Griffith, they worked on projects like The Birth of a Nation and Judith of Bethulia, highlighting Walthall's contribution to cinema. Beyond Hollywood's glitz, his personal life had triumphs and tribulations. Despite challenges, he remained committed to his craft, leaving a mark on cinema. From Shelby Depot to early Hollywood stages, Henry B. Walthall's journey is a fascinating chapter in film history. His ability to overcome challenges and contribute to cinema reflects his tenacity and passion for acting. Henry B. Walthall's personal and professional life were closely intertwined. His two wives, both actresses, played significant roles in his journey. His second wife, Mary Charlison, brought forth a daughter named Patricia Walthall in 1918. Born in affluence on an Alabama plantation, he was the son of Junius Lee Walthall. His father, a Virginian native and a Confederate Army captain, later gained respect in Alabama politics. Walthall's upbringing amid eight siblings reflected the challenges faced by Southern families after the Civil War. In acting, his involvement in 42nd Street showcased his commitment. Despite a sizable role, including a pivotal scene where his character perished during rehearsals, most of his scenes ended up on the cutting room floor. From humble beginnings to Hollywood, his journey stands as a story of resilience and passion. The connections between his personal life and career choices provide a nuanced understanding of the man behind the screen. In the early days of Hollywood, he became a significant figure, crossing paths with important events and people who shaped his career. One key moment happened in 96 on Broadway in The Great Divide, where he met James Kirkwood. This friendship led him to D.W. Griffith, a famous director, and started his role in many movies directed by Kirkwood. His middle name, Brazel, was a nod to his family's past, coming from his grandmother's Irish maiden name. This show would how much he valued family, influencing his personality both in real life and on screen. He was often called the Edwin Booth of the screen for his excellent acting skills. Like Booth, a well-known stage actor from the 19th century, he was able to captivate audiences without saying a word thanks to his expressive performances. His story is a mix of personal and professional moments from his simple beginnings in Shelby Depot, Alabama to the busy life in New York City. His ability to overcome financial hardships and adapt to the changing movie industry reflected the challenges faced by America after the Civil War. Working with D.W. Griffith, especially on films like The Birth of a Nation, show what his important role in the early movie world. His personal life was closely linked to his work, adding depth to his career story. The impact of his life is seen in the roles he played and the obstacles he tackled. His influence goes beyond his movies, capturing the spirit of a committed actor whose path showcases the determination and enthusiasm at the heart of early movie making. Henry B. Walthall had an impressive career in the film industry, earning recognition and awards for his outstanding work. In the 1950s, he gained admiration for his contributions to cinema, leading to the prestigious Academy Honorary Award. Walthall's silent film-era performances were praised for conveying emotions without words, reminiscent of stage actor Edwin Booth. Throughout his life, he received acclaim for his acting skills, earning the Screen Actors Guild's Lifetime Achievement Award. His pivotal role in The Birth of a Nation solidified his position as a key figure in early Hollywood, collaborating with director D.W. Griffith. 
Walthall's journey from Shelby Depot, Alabama, to New York City mirrored the challenges America faced after the Civil War. Despite financial constraints, he pursued his passion with unwavering support from his family. In roles like those in 42nd Street, Walthall showcased a commitment that extended beyond Hollywood glitz. His influence extends beyond accolades, leaving an indelible mark on cinematic history. Walthall's commitment and enthusiasm define the formative years of the film industry, resonating with those who appreciate early moviemaking. Amid the glitz of Hollywood's changing landscape, Henry B. Walthall found himself part of four Oscar Best Picture nominees, including the inaugural winner, Wings. His journey from Shelby Depot to the zenith of his career under D.W. Griffith showcased not only resilience but also financial success, earning a substantial 175 per week. His early academic pursuit of law at Howard College gave way to a more compelling passion for theater. Dropping out after six months, he ventured into the New York stage scene in 91, debuting in Southern melodramas. This shift marked the beginning of a career that would intertwine with significant Hollywood events and personalities. Working alongside D. Debbie Griffith during the silent film era, he became an integral part of cinematic history. Their collaboration on monumental projects like The Birth of a Nation and Judith of Bethulia reflected his dedication and contribution to the burgeoning film industry. Not just a screen presence, his personal life was marked by two marriages to actresses. His second wife, Mary Charlison, bore witness to the birth of their daughter, Patricia Walthall, in 1918. Despite challenges, his commitment extended beyond accolades, with involvement in 42nd Street underscoring devotion to the craft. A key moment in 1906, when he crossed paths with James Kirkwood on Broadway, set the stage for collaboration with D.W. Griffith. This friendship, coupled with expressive performances, earned him the moniker Edwin Booth of the screen, a testament to his ability to captivate audiences without uttering a word. His career reached its pinnacle in the 1950s, culminating in the prestigious Academy Honorary Award and the Screen Actors Guild's Lifetime Achievement Award. His influence on early Hollywood went beyond mere recognition, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. From a humble start in Shelby Depot to a vibrant life in New York City, Henry B. Walthall's journey embodied the determination and enthusiasm foundational to early moviemaking. His story, both personal and professional, paints a vivid picture of a man whose commitment to acting shaped the course of cinema. Henry B. Walthall, a Shelby Depot, Alabama native, embarked on his Hollywood career in its early days. Serving in the 1st Alabama Regiment during the Spanish-American War, he faced malarial fever, hindering his active duty. This early episode showcased the resilience that defined his life. A crucial moment in his career occurred at the 1936 Academy Awards, where he presented an honorary award to director D.W. Griffith for lifetime achievement. This gesture acknowledged their collaborative successes in the silent film era, notably with groundbreaking projects like The Birth of a Nation and Judith of Bethulia. Walthall's involvement in 42nd Street demonstrated his commitment to the craft, despite many of his scenes ending up on the cutting room floor. This perseverance characterized not only his professional life, but also his personal one. Marrying actresses, including Mary Charlison, with whom he had a daughter named Patricia, reflected the intertwining of his personal and professional spheres. Transitioning from a humble start in Shelby Depot to life in New York City, Walthall's journey mirrored the challenges post-Civil War America faced. Crossing paths with James Kirkwood in 1906 on Broadway led him to D. Debbie Griffith, establishing his role as a key figure in early Hollywood. Despite financial hardships, he earned a substantial 175 per week, showcasing both financial success and artistic passion. Walthall's silent film performances earned admiration for conveying emotions without words reminiscent of stage actor Edwin Booth. His influence peaked in the 1950s, culminating in prestigious awards like the Academy Honorary Award and the Screen Actors Guild's Lifetime Achievement Award. The story of Walthall, shaped by resilience and passion, serves as a testament to the determination foundational to early moviemaking. His influence on cinematic history goes beyond accolades, leaving a lasting impression on the evolving film industry.